In our Go Gardening series, we've walked you through the process of starting with what you know, developing concepts, figuring out where your hardscapes should be, talking about hardscape materials and plant materials. You've done a little bit of that design thinking. You've maybe put some things on paper. Now it's time to actually figure out whether what you think you want will fit where you want it to go. So in the best of all worlds, we would be outside with our tapes and our boots and everything that we need, our marking flags, to be able to lay out and then verify, yes, you want this in this location at this size. But we're going to actually talk a little bit about some of the tools you can use to do that and how you get started. So first off, of course, is to figure out how to measure and measure with what. Most people don't have a measuring wheel. They're really useful and not very expensive. So you can certainly use a measuring wheel. You can use a tape measure. You can use your feet. And one of the best things, especially for those of you who have on a Fitbit or a fitness tracker, is to figure out your pace. And that makes it pretty simple to come pretty close in the landscape to what a dimension is of a patio, for example, or the distance between plant materials. You also can use a garden hose. And a garden hose, obviously, for its flexibility, allows you to actually twist and move those bed lines so that you can see whether you really like the curve, if it's a curve, or whether you like how a curve hits a straight line. Think in terms also as you're laying that out, it might be a tight curve that looks kind of nice on paper, but the reality of you and the lawnmower or your lawn service and the lawnmower is it going to work for you? So that's another tool. So you're laying out on the ground what you actually put down on paper. One of the, one of the mistakes that gets made in the landscape world is we put, we put plant material too close to physical structures. That's so easy to do because, of course, when you go purchase a plant, it might be in a number one, a, a one gallon, it might be a two gallon, it might be a little bit bigger, but we tend mentally to think in terms of, all right, here's the shrub. I'm going to put it right next to the wall of my house. A really good way for you to think about that and not make that mistake, understand the full spread of the plant, which we've talked about. Back yourself up to the wall of your house or any physical surface that is immovable. Take a big giant step and then put the crown of that plant at that point, not the, not the center point of that plant. Then what you can do is lay out those bed lines again using your measuring tool or your hose or your flags to make sure you've given yourself enough room for those plants to grow. Looking at those connections from straight line to curve line, making sure that visually it is not cutting into your vision with you know, an, an abrupt angle or a curve that ends in kind of a strange spot. So it really ends up being one of those pretty simple ways to make that mental connection and visual connection between what you think you've designed and then how you can actually implement that when it finally comes time to use that bed edger to cut the lines, to go ahead and lay those flagstones or those pavers, get that patio poured, choose those plants, lay them out in the right spot and make sure that that landscape then is satisfying to you for what you had in mind to begin with. 